If you are wanting to slash your higher grocery bills, then this is the video for you. Hi friends, it's Bob and Fran, healthy lifestyle authors. Ta -da. That's our <laughs> book blocking our, my face <laughs> <That's> there. <okay. laughs> Mentors and among other things, we are thrifty shoppers. That's for sure. In the last year or two, between the pandemic and the war in Ukraine, we have all seen grocery prices rise, in many cases, as much as 25%, and on some food items, even higher. Fortunately, our grocery costs have gone up less than 10%. So we want to share with you our, well, it's mostly Fran's top 10 tips for keeping your grocery prices down while encouraging a healthy diet. So what's the first tip, Fran? The first tip is not all grocery stores are created equal. Really? <laughs> a recent survey ranked the most popular chains by prices that they charge, and the most affordable was Aldi. If you have one where you live, you could save a lot of money. In addition to buying a lot of our produce there, we have also found many other great food products, such as organic tofu, pasta sauces, raw nuts, whole grain organic breads, spices, and raw oats to be great buys. You can be hungry. <laughs> Another option is to seek out discount grocery stores in your area, like Grocery Outlet or other discount grocery stores if available. We personally stay away from high-end grocery or specialty stores. The second tip uh, I think is a really important one. If you are still eating meat, chicken, fish, and dairy foods, there has never been a better time to switch to a more plant-centered style of eating for yourself and for your family. Some of the biggest increases in food prices have been for meat and fish. My next suggestion would to be sure that you make a shopping list at home and follow it when you are shopping. Avoid straying away from the list and buying other items on impulse, especially highly processed foods like chips and cookies. The next item would be to check your supermarket sales ad weekly and stock up on items that you use regularly. And like us, if you are eligible, take advantage of any sort of senior day where you get a 5% off your bill. And be sure to use discount or two-for-one coupons when possible. Another suggestion is when a product that you regularly use goes on sale, stock up on it like we do. Um, I like to buy a quantity of canned goods, for example, when they're on sale. And additionally, take advantage of any shopper loyalty programs that your supermarket may offer such as gas discounts. All of this stuff really adds up, I think. It sure uh, does. Hi friends, just a quick break here. Bob and I are very concerned about the dangerous chemicals in our drinking water and how they can ruin our health. So for several years, we've been using this convenient and economical AquaTrue tabletop reverse osmosis system in our kitchen to transform our tap water into filtered and purified water. No installation or plumbing is needed, and the result is pure, delicious water. So, we urge you to click on the AquaTrue link in the description below and see for yourself how this can add so much to your healthy lifestyle and longevity. Please, invest in your health now. It does. You know, one other thing is, uh, I know you do a lot of shopping at the co-op. So what's going on over there? Well, the, our local co-op has a large bulk food section, and we oh. find that that's very uh, helpful in saving money. Another thing that they do is they run a monthly coupon, like for example, $5 off a purchase of $35. So I always take advantage of that. One more thing I want to suggest about saving is if you have a local bakery that sells healthy whole grain breads, check to see if they sell day-old loaves at a reduced price. For example, the one by us sells 
day old bread at half price. It's a tremendous savings and you can just pop the bread into your freezer. One other suggestion that Fran told me that I've actually done <laughs> at the, when I when yes, I let you shop. <laughs> yeah, when I infrequently go shopping with Fran, is that some supermarkets will sell ripe bananas in a bag at a lower price. And uh, otherwise, they have to toss them. Yeah. So we often buy them, this bag, yeah, at a very low price, maybe uh, five or six pounds, maybe more. And it's uh, very cheap. And then we use them to make healthy desserts like Fran's famous nice cream and I love the banana bread that she makes. I also suggest that you buy fruits and vegetables that are in season and local whenever possible. Not only is it cheaper that way, but they taste so much better. What about online shopping, friend? What's, what's the story? I, I would suggest that you explore the food items available online at Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, there are items such as farro, barley, flaxseed meal, to name a few, that are cheaper than in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And if the items that you want to buy are available on their subscribe and save plan, you can save as much as 15% more. Uh, do you have a like cooking a, tip? Oh, why not? It's <laughs> okay. our last tip. Okay, when you cook, it's a good idea to prepare more food than you need for one meal and either make two different meals out of that food or make one and freeze half for future use. So there you have it, some practical money-saving ideas for you to consider. And if you have any other suggestions along these lines to add to our list, please share them in the comment section below. And you know that you can help us by liking this video with a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel if you haven't as yet. And don't forget, push the notification button so that you are advised of all future videos that we produce. And one other thing, we've been doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one lifestyle coaching via Zoom that's been very popular. And if you're considering, say, going to a more of a whole food plant-based diet, that might be another thing for you to keep in mind. You can find the details in the description below. And finally, we say... We look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks for coming.